sometimes you want to remove red from the eyes, and this is different from uh, red eye removal, which is when there's red inside the pupil. Uh, sometimes you have these little red veins in the eyes, and everyone has these, but this is one quick way to fix that. So go ahead and open up kellyeyes.jpg, and this is my friend Kelly, and just a little bit of veins, you can or whatever they are, right there, you know, the little red lines. Uh, let's work on a duplicated layer. So press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. This is one of those situations where we are going to actually use the clone stamp tool. Uh, with some of the other adjustments um, on retouching, we're using spot healing brush, healing brush, or perhaps the patch tool. But in this instance, the clone stamp tool should actually work well. Up at the top on the options panel here, I would set opacity down a little bit, maybe down to 75%, maybe even lower, really depending on what photo you're using. And whether or not we want a line check, that depends on if you want it to keep sampling from one area or you want it to sample in a specific relation to where you're clicking. I'm going to uncheck aligned because I want to just sample from one area and then I'm going to click and drag and it will just sample from there. To set the source area, we hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, click, and then click and drag. All right. Then I'm going to click and drag up here. See, it starts down here right where I first clicked every single time. If I go too far, I'm going to get into the red area, and I wouldn't want to do that. So I'd let go and click again. All right. And over here, I'm going to sample again. So I'm going to Alt click and click and drag. Make sure you have the soft edge brush and I have one that's pretty small. It's the best practice to make the brush just slightly larger than the area that we're covering up. Not too much larger because we're just trying to cover up a specific area. Alright, I'm going to zoom out, control or command minus, and then you're not going to maybe be able to tell on the screen from this far away, but there's the before and there's the after. I can actually see it, the before and after. You can use this in conjunction with the whitening eyes effect as well, and just to improve the eyes in portrait photos.